is that clicking noise coming from there to you. Hear that? I'm going to show you how to fix that here in just a second. Okay guys, Shea Bear 1000 here again. Now, I don't know if you can, for cobweb, I don't know if you can hear that. Sounds something like bacon frying. Whoops. What that is, is that fan right behind this air conditioner is hitting water. Now, the condensation from these things builds up and you get water just like when you shut the air conditioner off in your car you shut your car off there's a puddle of water underneath the same thing now you might be able to see a little bit of something dripping right there well that's a weep hole it's called a weep hole so it's just a just a hole in the bottom of your air conditioner that lets that water drain out so what that water is doing I don't know if you can see this in there very good. And I, well, I can feel it. I can actually feel it. But down in there, that water builds up if that hole gets plugged. And it gets high enough to where the fan is hitting it. It's hitting the water, and that's where you're getting that sound. Let me show you how to fix that. Take your little twig or something. Get up in that little hole right there. and clean that out and if there's a lot in there you may have to blow it out because I see a lot of leaves and stuff that's up in here but that's what's causing that that hole is plugged so let me get a stick here I just had one I got a screw but I don't think now, be careful if you're doing this so you don't get... Oh, yeah. So you don't hit anything and knock a hole in one of the uh, radiator tubes. Now, see, there should be water draining out of there, so that's telling me it's plugged up clear up in here. It's not letting the water drain. And I see some sticks and stuff up in there. I know you probably can't see them, but I see them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this air conditioner off. And I'm going to try to get this water out of here. I may have to blow it out, I'm not sure. But that's what I'm going to have to try to do. And see if that doesn't cure that problem right there. But you normally, what that... It'll usually come out, but I think I've just pretty much pushed that stuff up in there. So let me get something and blow this out, and I'll be right back with you. Oh, crap. I don't know if I got that, guys. All I did was shut the air conditioner off, and a whole bunch of water started coming out. So I'm thinking maybe the fan was kind of like keeping it up in there more. So let's turn it on here and see if that took care of it. If this will work out here. I bet the infrared's up inside. All right, well, let's just go in and turn it on and see if that's what took care of it or not. Let's put this on the side. It's magnetic. Go right down the side. Could be the batteries. No, ain't the batteries. Yeah, so you can see all the water that has come out of it. But there's still more up in there. I can hear it. So I'm going to shut this back off and clean it out some more and see what happens. But you can already tell the difference in it. But that, that is annoying, especially at night. Like I said, I may have to 
bring some air out here and blow all this out. So there it goes. That there it comes. See, all that water's coming out of there. So whoops. My screen fell on me. Alright guys, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow it out, get some air, blow that out, and I'll be right back with you and let's see what happens. Okay guys, we're back. Got her dripping pretty good now. My problem was right here. It was laying right down in here, the water. So I just drilled a little hole up through there. Don't you don't want to run into your condenser there. Or whatever you call it. The uh, it's like a radiator. You don't want to run into that because then you screwed up your air conditioner. But see it's draining out, out of there. For some reason it's not coming out of this hole here. Well, some of it is, but not all of it. Where you at? Right there. So, the old antenna wire. So, as you can see, it's coming around there pretty good now. Let's see if I can get in on that. Now that sound that sounded like frying bacon that click 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 it's gone now. You're not supposed to have to do this. I think it was a piss poor design. I've seen guys even actually bend it down here with a pair of pliers so it'll drain. Just be careful not to hurt this. Um, that's what I had to do. So anything that is left like down maybe down in here it should come out now. And just keep them holes cleared out shouldn't have a problem but anyway that's what's making that sound so you can still hear it a tiny bit but it's not as bad I figure now it's going to drain out a lot better so I'll get a little bit but anyway check that first that's probably what your problem is if you don't feel comfortable doing that get somebody that can or that knows about them and see but that's probably what your problem is it's making that noise it's still tapping a little bit I still see a little bit of water in there but it should go away now. So it's dripping, it's draining, it will take a minute or so because those are little holes. But I can see it draining out there pretty good. Out this hole here. Am I even on it? There. Like that. It's hard to see with the sunshine, but yeah, see how good it's draining now. So that was the problem guys. So again, guys I hit the record button. So guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, stay tuned. Um, you know, in the sunlight, I really don't even need to turn the screen around. I can see my reflection in you guys right there. But anyway, guys, so, you know, just something there. Uh, just another little how-to. Try to save a little money. Do it yourself, guys. Okay, again, Shea Bear 1000. I'm gone for now. Stay tuned for some more how-to videos coming up. So, all right, guys, thanks for all your support, and thanks for watching. All right, guys, Shea Bear, I'm gone for now. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend.